Hi. So um, I've got a HEQ5 Pro and uh, I was using it the last Saturday and uh, I started to notice it was making a clicking sound and uh, which was conspicuous since uh, I've also had some trouble uh, actually zeroing, zeroing in on some targets. And uh, in this particular case, I saw the uh, guiding go uh, completely kind of os almost oscillating. And then uh, I got out and looked at the scope and noticed uh, this sound. So I decided to take apart my mount and uh, I, I looked into having it refurbished and uh, that was probably going to cost about <clears throat> six or seven hundred Canadian plus uh, plus shipping closing in on a thousand dollars on an HEQ5 Pro to uh, refurbish it. So uh, I figured well I can't sell it if it's got a defect so I'm going to try and fix it. So I've, uh, I guess I'm going to document a few things. Um, I've already pulled it apart and um, I didn't the how to pull it apart is actually documented by Astro Baby and uh, you can look her look her up on the web there and find the instructions. So here's the starting of uh, well the pulled apart mount and uh, I'm going to be degreasing the the gears and uh, putting it back together in, in a, probably today or tomorrow. Okay, so this is it. It's all pulled apart. And you can see I've started with the cover plate on the declination, azimuth de declination and uh, well, right ascension, but uh, basically it's the uh, motor cover plate. And I work down the declination axis, pulling things apart, declination shaft, bearings, place things in order here. Then I got into the right ascension, some of the bearings. This is the uh, right ascension shaft with the sort of housing and you see the electronics board inside. That's the uh, equatorial mount. And I've got more bearings from the right ascension and the motors. So I've also ordered a, a belt drive um, upgrade to this uh, from a British site. I'll try, to rem I'll try to put that information down later. I don't remember the name of it. But there's also an American one, uh, which I'll also put the information down. Uh, I'll get that one too. All right, so that's where I am, and uh, I bought some, also some sort of high quality grease. It's not just average grease. Um, so white lithium grease. It's a non-corrosive, and hopefully that's enough. All right. Bye. Okay, so this is the um, the uh, gears and the degreasing agent. It's just basically an automotive degreaser. Um, it seemed to be not a big issue. So I've got my right ascension gears and my declination gears, bearings I should say, and. Um, so letting them soak a little bit and uh, I'm going to I'm going to brush them out soon. So I popped off the plastic seal and uh wasn't too difficult. It actually it's not like a really um it's not like a really tight uh cover. It just uh just to be careful not to scrape it or to cut the rubber. Uh wasn't too too difficult. Hi, so uh, I've got my uh, belt upgrade. It's come in the mail today and uh, I'm about to put it put it on the mount and uh, so I'll show you that. This is the box and this is one of the, the right ascension motor. I just finished pulling off the gear with this tool. It's a, a gear puller because it's fastened uh, with a taper fit, not with a uh, screw. So you need a puller, you need to buy that tool That's when you when you buy this kit. So uh, I've got all the parts here and I'm just about to uh, put this thing together. Okay, so I'm just um, fitting this uh, belt upgrade. Looking at how uh, some of the components come together and uh, it's not fitting. 
So if you look at this way, you can see how they're not aligned. And uh, it's uh, so I'm going to pull it apart a bit and uh, realign. And I think the reason why is the pinion with needs to be uh, mated with the uh, shaft, like right, basically mated. Um, bottomed out on the shaft uh, so that it's not so high but I was following instructions and uh, they were kind of saying put it at this dimension and it doesn't seem to be the right amount so anyway I'm gonna redo that and the thing I find now that uh, I should have been more careful of was to have measured the post here uh, the height of this post so when I get it back in together that post height needs to be back where it was to line up with all these gears and um, but it's probably easy to fix because I know that the main uh, pinion here the gear on it was flush with the pinion head and when this was mounted there's no adjustment here so everything has to line up with that so I'll go work backward from here back to get the, the the dimension of uh, or the height of this post and the same thing this height this post would be the same height okay that's where I am okay so <clears throat> conclusion is that uh, you don't really need to measure this like originally this post height and all the mountings of this thing have no adjustment and uh, so they line up properly with the housing and everything else has to line up with them so uh, I found when I tried to put this on with any kind of uh, offset, it just was too high. So my conclusion is to, this is just going to go right down like that. And uh, no, no measurement. Okay, so now you can see I've readjusted this. The pinion is about as low as it can, is, well it is as low as it can go. And then I uh, aligned the idler and then uh, the main uh, cog there, the main gear is, I let it align itself by just turning this and uh, making sure that it's, the uh, cog ends up flush with the, with the, uh, with the belt. So now that it's flush with the belt, and I've got it in the right position, I'll tighten up those set screws, which you can just see. So you, as you can see, uh, everything is recessed inside the, <clears throat> the extension that's, that you're given. So it's nicely uh, recessed. You can see just a tad there, but uh, the cover has also some uh, gap, so that's going to be fine. Okay, so i uh, just say there's one thing about this mod that I don't like, and uh, it's this shaft is not long enough to go all the way to, say, the bottom here and pick up this, uh, this set screw. So you end up only using one set screw on the idle shaft. So I'm not too thrilled about that, but uh, maybe it doesn't make any difference. Okay. Okay, so it's all done. Everything's secure, the belts are on. Everything's lined up. And uh, I've moved it by hand, goes nicely. So now I've, uh, I've rewired the motors into the control board. And I just put some power on before I, I close everything and I'm gonna see how it goes. Initializing. Okay, so I think I'm just going to hit the up down. I think I can do that. Mm. And we'll just say, yeah, sure, everything. Yeah, yeah. And we'll leave it at that. Alignment. Uh, okay. 
Let's try it. How smooth is that? Smooth and quiet. Oh yeah. Right ascension. Sweet. So, I'm gonna be ready for the next uh, new moon. Looking good. So here's the finished product. Everything's put back together. The, uh, as you can see, the extra s thickness in the uh, motor cover. And uh, it's all closed up. It's operating smoothly and quiet if you listen. That's it. Can't wait to use it.